Hello and welcome to class number 14. I'm your host, Rabbi David Katz. And we are on chapter 13, verse 17. And to read what Justin Becker has posted. And Manoyach said to the angel of the Lord, What is your name, that when your word will come, we may do you honor? Wow, that's a nice verse, isn't it, Justin? Straight up, we want to know, we've, we've talked about Menoyach and Hatzel Pony, and the nature of the angel's name was Hatzel Pony, that's why Hatzel Pony was named Hatzel Pony. But now Menoyach wrestled the angel, we got the news of Samson, and he goes for the kill, right? Let's uh, find out what your name is. Which angel is it? And again, we have 25 verses to go in the chapter, and we're on 17. So when we're done with this chapter, we're going to switch material, just so everyone knows. But right now, um, Manoach was being judged last week about if he knew the spiritual realities on high, etc., etc. Vayomer Manoach el Malich Hashem Mish Mecho ki yavod varecho ve ki badnucho ki yavod divrecho Mish Mecho ki yavod divrecho How do you translate that? What is your name that when your word will come? Right, so when it happens, we will say, hey, he told us that. Rashi, or is it Mitsuda's David? I can't tell right now. No, it's actually, now I can tell. All right, that's Rashi. Ahim yavolano shlichis dvar me'idcha mishenada v'naki reshmecha. We want to know, who was the angel that told us this? We want to do what you were sent to do. What's your name? What's your name? That's all the next verse. Excuse me. Pardon him all. Lefish alohi gerbo shahaya malach lakach shahala ashmo. Lefish alohi gerbo shahaya malach. All right. So the Midrash wants to say. Not he's asking the angel's name, but since I already didn't know what your sustenance was, I didn't know you know you're an angel. I'm not convinced you're fully an angel. I want to know your name. It's a prophecy. Okay. So really, 17 is more of, hey, come over and eat. Hey, tell me your name. Menoyach halfway knows it's an angel, but it's halfway a prophet. And he doesn't know really what level of sanctity we're on here. Justin, if you could post the next verse. Why, said the angel of God, why do you ask of my name? It's a, 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 a pella, it's a wonder, it's hidden. And we have here... Why do you Lama Zeti Shalishmi? Why are you asking my name? Yeah, very that's interesting. True point. Hatsaponi's name isn't even mentioned, also. Very good point. Very good point. 
Um, right to Lamer, Ain Rod Sony Bichvod, Vaim Ken Lamazid Tishau. If you're not trying to honor me, then why do you want to know my name? The Hopele E Machusa, Tami Hu Mishtane. It's covered and concealed, and it always changes. Vaim Yadua Lami Mishtaya Yoim. It wants to know why did it change? Vahu Pela E, Vaocha, Humachusa, Vinel, and the Ainla Geluso. My name is concealed and it's not to be revealed. Pela E, Machusa, Vinel, and it's not to be revealed. Torah Tamima. Where's the Torah Tamima coming from here? It's uh, an old one. Okay. Vayoimir lo malech Hashem, lam is it he shalish me? Amar lo amalech ain esorikli. You don't have to know my name. She ain sofcha. She tirani oid le oilam. She ain sofcha. It's not going to be your end that you saw me. Who I did, but who pelli? But it's a wondrous name. Alats mo amar lo she who ye a machusimi me. You shall lo you run oid le oilam. Yeah, I don't want you to ever see me again. That's why his name is concealed. Kamed Tema Pelia Das Bimani Deborah Yeva Hu Pela Iamali Amala Inio de Alamar the Hashmi Shalafi Shrika Shashlega is Warago Dano Kobelano Shah. Have you have even who Pela? Only God knows based on my mission. Only God knows my name. Lafi Pelia, please, I see all you dain who Kaira Lanu Shah. His name is wondrous of wondrous. He's not saying my name is wondrous or concealed. He's saying my name simply is wondrous. According to the mission that I came to make a Nazir or Lahazir Shimshin, how Kamadatamaki Nazir Elohim Yeanar, however much Samson was meant to be a Nazir, that's my name and mission. Like Kakara Shemo Pelai, for that he is called Pelai, wondrous. Ke Inyan Sha'amar Akastav Isha Isha Ki Yafri. Vayoimir Malay Hashem Yamanoye, Kamar Loa Malay in Yodea, Bidamut, Miani, Asoi, the Koshahu Machlifeni. The angel said, I don't even know what I look like, who I am, what I'm doing. All the time it changes. Alif, Amar Hamala Ainli Kvi Shame. I don't have an established name. Shahari Bekol Shah, Ani Mishtane Lefi Pela Ocha Isa Imanu. It always changes according to the wonders done through me and my name. Exactly. Uh, you can't even look after me. Give me a different name. Okay, that's the end of 18. We are cruising for a bruising over here. So basically, we got this one more verse, then one more paragraph, and then we're about done. Uh, so that's 1319. And here we go. my time and the on the is and there he's saying, look, in Aleph, Beis, Gimel, Dalit, and Hay. Just fear like the Sheikh had a chutzle, Mikdash, Enochai of Kareis, Ashiala, the Roshim is Beach. The Rebbe Shimon Sphere lay a filo ala ala sela o ala min chayif. So they're offering the the sacrifice. How can you do it outside of the temple? And the answer is you can. 
Whole question is, how do you have an offering on an altar outside the temple? And the answer that they come up with is, it's not a big deal. You can do it under the right conditions. La Hashem, Leoyis, Oyu, Hashem, make an offering for God. Hamalek Asa Pelaim, or Haitia Eish Minatsor, the angel who is, makes wonders, will bring out the fire. Mistach Lim and Mysit, okay? The Yikach Menoyas Gediva Eizim, Bishlam the Manamar Zobis Zoyu Shilaim. If this was Jerusalem, it makes sense. Aval Shilo. Have a sorry, but but I know how the the see why you can't know you guys could be how easy it is. I mean, if we all had so that a shame, it was an amor. So it was all shilo. Oh, but most have a siran. My way, you got my no, who are sha heise. Close man, she oil moy and I'm a bishilo. Hi, oh, be mode, mutrus, lucky, little in. If he was in Jerusalem, it's not a problem. If it was Shiloh, who knows what the answer is? Also not a problem. 20. Just can you put verse 20 up, please? Hello, 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 verse 20. All rise and please chant with us. Chapter 13, verse 20. And it was when the flame went up, from the altar, of toward heaven, and the angel of the Lord ascended in the flame of the altar. Menoach and his wife saw, and they fell on their faces to the land. So the angel is heavy duty here. This is where we're going to find the real kishkes of the angel. Number 20. Straight up towards heaven. They went straight up like the fire. Allah shall have his. And that's all we have for verse 20. So we see that he literally went up in that fire. Verse 21, Justin. The low yas of old Malach Hashem, lahe roa. El manoyak velishtoy as yada manoyak i malach Hashem. They never, the, in the angel of the Lord did not continue to appear to Manoch and his wife. Then Menoyach knew that he was an angel of the Lord. See, he had to go through a whole song and dance to find out, is he really an angel or is it a prophet and a prophecy? That was verse 21. All right, it really was an angel. So that's what we're, we're, we're going. Remember, the mazel is with the angel. And Samson's getting the mazel of the angel. We know now it's a real angel. 22, we are going to die. We saw an angel. But remember, he told him, you're not going to die. And it was a malach of egg of God. There's a concept in the Rondu that I saw where he talks about Mekatne Amona. It says that Noah's problem with the flood is he suffered from katne amana. Now, what is mekatne amana? Those of small and little faith. 
How many of you believe in God? Anybody here? Does anybody in this room believe in God? Ever heard of a height of God? Anybody? Has anyone ever heard of God? Believe in God? Anyone? Just one person? Just one guy? Just one person believes in God? All right. There we go. So, okay. So y'all believe in God, right? Does God do? What does God do? What does God do? Do you guys have God in your life? Any of you ever? Any of you people have God in your life? Yeah. So what God does, because God is God, God can only be God, right? God is not small. God is not weak. God does miracles. And God, particularly, as we learned in the Mazel class, God does miracles for man. And God has to conceal the miracle so that not everyone in the world knows your business. And it's the, the goal, as we learned in the Mazel class last night, is for you to recognize God doing a miracle for you. But it's not supposed to be that hard. It's got to be concealed so that you can recognize God is doing a miracle for you. Say Mazel to exactly. So what happens is God does a miracle, and he has to conceal it in nature. And when you are lacking the wisdom to deal with God's miracle, you suffer from small faith. Mekatne amana. When you are strong in emuna, then you have the wisdom and the faith to deal with God. So the problem with Noah wasn't that Noah was small change. It's that God literally used Noah to save the world. He was, he was the Messiah, right? So God is doing miracles probably unprecedented for Noah. And unless you know how to work that into your psyche, you suffer from Makatne Amona. Remember, Abraham was not a Messiah, not even close. Noah was a full-blown Messiah, the most that ever lived. And the, the, the final Messiah will not suffer from small faith, i.e. he will be able to handle the task of being the Messiah. So when God does a miracle for you, you have to have the wisdom and amuna to fully comprehend and work with God. So when God, but remember, all God does is miracles for you. So when God does miracles and you say, oh, it was just a coincidence. No, you're supposed to say Mazel Tov. That is not a coincidence. You denied God's miracle. So Manoah had a miracle for himself, like we all do. You don't, you don't think you guys see angels and prophets in your lives? Of course you do. Because God is one. And God makes miracles and prophecies all the time. But we, are, we suffer from small faith that we don't even recognize it and it doesn't even go noticed. But heaven doesn't stop because you're on a shvach madrega. Manoach is being tested here. Can he handle the miracle that God did for him? Does he have a mona or a katni amona? So they thought they were going to die. What verse is that? 22. 22, 22, 22. Okay, and we read that. 23, Justin. Vata Oimir, Lo Ishto, Lo Chafitz Hashem, Lahamiseinu, Lo Lakach, Miadeinu, Oila, O Minche, Velo Her Anu, Eskoleila, Vakaes, Lo Hishmianu, Hazois. But his wife said to him, if the Lord wanted to kill us, he would not have received from our hand a burnt offering and a meal offering, and he would not have shown us all these things, and at this time he would not let us hear such things as these. Justin Becker, who is Manoach's wife? Who was Manoach's wife? Was it Hatzel Pony? And we're saying Hatzel Pony is a big, gear, righteous woman of valor. 
And we said yesterday in class that Miriam's wisdom was pretty pushed. Right? It doesn't come with big bells and whistles, the prophetic wisdom. And we said that Samson is the prophetic wisdom of all time. And we said Miriam was as well. So who is speaking here, Justin? None other than Hot Soul Pony. And she's giving a Miriam type of subtle answer, yet bestowing the prophecy onto Samson. Because Manoah would say, if we're meant to die, then Samson is not the real deal. But with Hatzel Pony being connected to the angel, she's able to say very simply and transferring the prophecy. The Ka'es has always like this time. The time is low, Ishto, Lu Hafiz Hashem, Lahami Sain, Lola Kamiya Dino, Oilo Mincha, Lo Harano Esko, Ela Ket Voka Ais, Lo Shmio Kazois. She's giving a wise prophetic answer. Lo Lakah, Lo Haya Mikabu Mirat, so Le Shahaish, Tochlam, Velo Ayamor, Lano Esko. Ela nifla osha asa amalek la hoitzi ha'eish. Okay, ha'eish wad zuleim ha'eish 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 misa if it was a time of death. Lo ha'ayayim kein mashmiyano ha'busura ha'eiki ha'eichis ka'ayim im namot meheira. We are here to get the good news. And if we're going to die, that's not good news. And that's the end of 23. Turn the page to 24. Man, we might finish the whole chapter today. How would you like that? V'taled ha'isha ben v'tikra eshmo shimshin v'yigdal ha'navi v'archehu adinoi. And the woman bore a son. She called his name Samson. And he grew the land and, the, and God blessed him. That's 24. That's 24. That's 24. Uh, we got what's we got? We got 24 and 25. Uh, man, what to do? What to do? What to do? I'm going to stop there. Let's, Justin, let's start with 24 next week and 25, and we'll end the series next week. Okay, and then we'll discuss and have a uh, discussion and maybe at most one more class discussing and wrapping it up. All right, so we're going to stop there. We're going to start with 24 and 25 next week. Then we're going to wrap it up, discuss it, and at, at, at most one more class, unless it really you guys blow up in the topic, discussing what we just went through in these classes. Thank you for listening. Be well.